Hey there, dessert lovers. Welcome back to Supper with Sarah. Today we have a scrumptious treat that will satisfy your sweet tooth in no time. So get ready for quick and easy, crazy good desserts using canned biscuit dough. Now, you're gonna wanna get yourself a can or two of canned biscuit dough and meet me in the kitchen. All right, everybody, let's talk canned biscuit dough. It really does not matter whether you get the off-brand, name brand, whatever, uh, butter flavored, it really doesn't matter. You can see right here, I have Pillsbury Grands because my Walmart had a sale on these today and they are the butter tasting um, variety. You are going to wanna have about three cans of these canned biscuit dough on hand if you're planning to make all three of these recipes. Each recipe calls for one can of canned biscuit dough. So grab your aprons, ladies, and let's get to work on these amazing desserts. Our first recipe is going to be canned biscuit dough miniature donuts with cinnamon and sugar. These are so warm, delicious. I am telling you, my little boys gobbled these up. And with just a couple ingredients, they are so easy to make. Up, let's make some delicious donut holes. So grab a can of canned biscuit dough and let's start cutting these biscuits into quarters. So my can of biscuit dough came with eight biscuits. Um, so this is gonna give us quite a bit of wiggle room here by the time we slice these biscuits up into quarters. Now that all of our biscuits have been quartered, it's time to start rolling them up into little balls like little donuts. And then we're gonna set up some oil in a frying pan and we're gonna get ready to fry these little babies. Okay, I am just going to take each little quarter and I'm gonna roll it up really well. There we go, into a little tiny ball, like a little donut ball. Set it aside because that is going to go into the frying pan and the oil in just a moment. And my kids are so excited. They cannot wait because today is canned biscuit dessert day. So they're going to get a sample, quite a few different desserts today. So let's just keep doing that. Keep rolling up your little balls and then I'll meet you when we're ready to go ahead and start frying these. All right, time to start frying up our little uh, biscuit balls that we made over here. We're going to make donuts. Here they all are. And into this big pan, I already have some oil coming. I just used a little bit of pure vegetable oil. It's steaming up. So now I'm just going to very gently, very, very gently drop the little donut balls into the hot oil, being very gentle, very careful not to splatter. And we're just gonna give these a couple minutes. Now, I hope you can see this, but they are just kind of starting to pop up. They're starting to brown up a little bit to see that the color is changing. Look at that, and that beautiful golden brown color that we really wanna get. All right, I'm just starting to pull our glorious little biscuit donuts out, and they look amazing all right but we're not done yet all right so next up i just have a bowl here's my little donut bowl i'm gonna scoop some aside i'm just gonna take some sugar i'm just gonna eyeball it i don't know that's probably enough some sugar and a little bit of cinnamon i'm gonna make a cinnamon sugar mixture just gonna make that a nice good mix and then i'm gonna take my little donuts and i am just gonna coat them all over in this little cinnamon sugar mixture until they look amazing just like that so now i'm just going to keep going voila you have a cinnamon sugary wonderful little puff cloud of canned biscuit goodness next we have our warm and gooey blueberry turnover tarts these turned out amazing next let's whip up some fruity turnovers you're going to take your biscuit dough uh, first i'm going to sprinkle a tiny bit of flour down on my surface and i'm just going to take the dough i'm going to roll it out with a rolling pin into thin circles nothing nothing super thin but enough that you're gonna want to use this as a a crust or a base to put some filling in almost like a little mini miniature pie so let's keep rolling it Oh, 
Okay, once you have a nice little circle formed with your um, canned dough, you're going to want to take a fruit filling, any kind. I am using blueberry pie filling or topping that is sweet. You're going to just take a spoonful, make sure you kind of mix it up. So just careful placement of your fruit. Like so, then you're going to want to take it, take it, and turn it over. Press it. Okay. Now I'm going to transfer my blueberry turnover to parchment paper. I'm going to take a fork and I'm just gonna press down to make this delicate little lacy design all along the tart. It also will help keep it closed during the baking process and it just makes it look pretty. All right, so now that our little uh, fruit turnovers are ready to go into the oven, you can see I have them all placed out here nicely. I'm gonna put them in exactly the amount of time that the biscuit can says to. So they're going in about 375 for about 11 to 15 I checked the turnovers at about 11 minutes and decided to add a little bit of melted butter onto them to give them a glaze and a little bit of shine. Here they are, cooked to 15 minutes. Such beautiful color coming out of these. They would be a wonderful addition to any tea party. They were so good. Now what you can't see this whole time that I've been filming is our sweet Ruby girl sitting here waiting and hoping hoping for something to drop the floor so she can have a little taste. Our last recipe today, but certainly not our least, is our gooey monkey bread. This is gonna be amazing, friends. It is so ooey, gooey, cinnamon brown sugar, melted butter, let's get to it. All right, I've got my eight biscuits here and I'm going to just take them and simply start quartering them just like we did before with the little cinnamon donut. So I have a question for you ladies. Do you like to listen to a certain kind of music or any music when you are baking or cooking? I love to listen to jazz. It just kind of gets me in a baking zone. Let me know in the comments below what you listen to. Okay, now that I have all of my little biscuits quartered and cut, I am going to take a cinnamon sugar mixture. I again just eyeballed how much cinnamon, how much sugar to your tasting and liking. And then I'm just gonna start coating the quartered biscuit pieces in cinnamon and sugar mixture and start placing them, just kind of layering them in a baking dish. You could use a round baking dish, you can use a bread pan, you can use a Pyrex, whatever you choose to do. And here they are, they are all coated in cinnamon sugar and layered, ready to go. Now I'm going to take um, maybe a third cup of brown sugar, a little more, a little less, and um, a half a stick of butter. I'm going to melt it, and then I'm going to start pouring this mixture over all of the coated monkey bed bread pieces. Once coated, the monkey bread can go into the oven for about, I don't know, about 350 for about 30 minutes. Time to check on that monkey bread. I also have some bacon going because I'm making breakfast as well. Look at that monkey bread, guys. Let's bring it out. This pull apart canned dough monkey bread was so delicious, guys. Look at that butter bubbling up. It was so comforting to just have serve a long breakfast on this cold morning, did a few eggs with it, but you can see, oh my goodness, and it pulled apart so beautifully. The boys loved it, Rich loved it. There you have it, folks. Crazy good desserts using canned biscuit dough. They're quick, they're easy recipes, and they are utterly delicious. Thanks for watching Suppers with Sarah. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button for more tasty recipes. And until next time, God bless and happy baking.